Today's question on Turtle Tank's Geek, or what, I didn't say that right, Turtle Tank Geek's YouTube channel. This is kind of just my, my q and I just kind of vlog it out. Um, I've been answering a lot of questions people send me. I have a bunch of Turtle Tanks and people send me questions. That, uh, I just decided that instead of typing a million um, a million words and replying to people like I used to, I just do a series of YouTube videos and I can send you guys the videos. So, um, without further ado, today's topic is turtle sand and, uh, the, the whole top, the whole idea or controversy behind what substrate to use, which is your tank lining is huge. People say that, uh, actually I'm just going to cut it. I'm going to cut this dry. The only thing you need to be careful with is medium sized gravel, like pebble rock, because turtles can eat that and it puts havoc on their, a lot of turtles die because they accidentally eat a piece of gravel and they just can't pass it through the body. So what I usually like to do is do a mixture of sand with larger sized gravel. And a lot of people say, uh, sand isn't that great either because your tank, it's cloudy, but you should have a a monster filter on your tank anyways like a fluval 406 or something like monster because turtles are super messy uh, by the way i'll throw a link in the description box to the fluval 406 tremendously good filter it's super popular among turtle keepers because it's a powerhouse and it's middle of the road price so um sand sand is completely fine uh what I usually do is just buy sand on Amazon. There's like Caribbean sand. It's usually like a dollar a pound for, for cool sand. I like dark colored sand. What I usually do on my turtle tanks is paint the bottom and then you also use a black sand and then I'll mix in rocks, uh, bigger size rocks and it looks really cool. So, and if you're worried about wrecking your filter, I always tell people to use a filter intake uh, like it's a, it's a foam sponge that goes over the intake of your filter, but buy a super coarse one so that your filter doesn't get bogged down. And if you have questions, I'll throw a link in the description box to the pre-filter sponge. Uh, there's a specific one I always order. It's like a universal one and it's really high coarse foam. So a lot of water can go through it, but sand cannot. So it, it just has to be that perfect, perfect course of foam it's a huge deal a lot of people mix this stuff up and the only reason i'm good at this is because i've failed for years and years and years and i finally figured it out through tons and tons of research and failure and now i'm helping others do this stuff so the best turtle sand um my favorite is it's the caribbean sand on amazon it's black i think it's like 20 bucks delivered to your door for a 20 pound bag so uh, link links will be in the description guys. Hopefully these products help you turtle sand. It's not a huge deal. Some people do bare bottoms. I prefer sand and grout and larger size gravel because it's more natural. And I think the turtles prefer, prefer it more because what live, uh, animal wants to just be feeling glass. You know what I mean? It's gotta be the weirdest thing. And it's, it'd be like a human living inside a hospital. Like it just doesn't feel natural. All right, guys, I'm done blabbing turtle sand.